Well, the state of Minnesota has a new leader at the top of its judicial branch. This is the official oath of office for Chief Justice Natalie Hudson late this afternoon. She's the new head of the Minnesota Supreme Court. Aaron Hassan is following this story. So some history being made today, Aaron. Yes, absolutely, Frank. So Justice Natalie Hudson is the 22nd Chief Justice in Minnesota history, but she's the first person of color and the third woman to hold this prominent position. Essentially, she's going to oversee the judicial branch of Minnesota. The duties of the Office of Chief Justice, Minnesota Supreme Court. So help me God. WCCO sat down with Chief Justice Hudson when Governor Tim Walz first appointed her earlier this year. And in that conversation, we learned more about how she got here and where she wants to take the state. I, Natalie Hudson. I, Natalie Hudson. Do Natalie you? Hudson is officially the Chief Justice of Minnesota's highest court, the first person of color to hold the position. The Constitution of the United States. Her interest for law blossomed in high school when her cousin started law school. But her outlook was influenced by her father, who was a trailblazer in his own right, as the first black football coach at McAllister College. And so watching him for me was a lesson in perseverance, in courage, and in integrity. And that has carried me through through my career. Uh, representation is so important, and I, I recognize that. They are uh, big shoes. I, I feel the weight of that a little bit, I think, but I think that's a good thing. Hudson's resume includes a stint as the St. Paul City Attorney, time in the Minnesota Attorney General's Office, and at Hamlin University's Law School. She was appointed to the Minnesota Court of Appeals by Governor Jesse Ventura in 2002, and the Minnesota Supreme Court by Governor Mark Dayton in 2015. Regardless of race, this is the type of person you would want to be leading the judicial branch, someone who works really hard, someone who's really smart, someone who gets along well with others. Abu Amara is a former Supreme Court law clerk who worked alongside Chief Justice Hudson. He says she'll govern policies and rules of the courts and criminal laws, a job Hudson says she's honored to do. So with the weight of history as our backdrop, I do not take this honor lightly, and I'm eager to work with each and every one of you as we uphold the cause of justice in our beloved state. And in our WCCO sit down with Chief Justice Hudson, she shared some of her priorities. So she wants to make the courts more accessible at all income levels. And she also wants to allow for more virtual hearings and increase confidence in our system. Amelia? All right. Thank you, Erin.